Present. Javon McKinney, present. Matthew Rathman, present. And on the line, or sorry. Haley Goss, present. Amelia Federico, present. Uh, Levi Chi, present. Victor should be here. He was right downstairs. And uh, Mike is going to be a little late, but he will be joining us as well. Okay. Um, do we get someone to read the mission statement? Arthur? To support the evolving needs of the MSU Denver students by advocating in their best interests to enhance the university experience and opportunities. All right. Um, hopefully, you guys all got a good look at the agenda what we're looking at today. Um, does anyone have anything to add to the agenda? Online? No? All right. I make motion to approve the agenda. I'll stop that. Uh, all opposed? Abstained? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Agenda approved. Um, just need help on the uh, We will stop for public comment at 11.35, but otherwise we'll move on. Um, for new business, uh, University Policy Committee, um, you're going to do voting for yeah, so Amelia previously was holding the role of this committee, but is no longer able to make the meeting times because they do not work with her class schedule. Um, Amelia, I don't know if you want to give some more insight on this committee. I know you brought it up a little bit last week. Um, <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. Um, so they meet. They meet two. They meet Tuesdays at two thirty. It's not quite a bi-weekly schedule it kind of hops around a little bit um and so i've been to a few of them um and essentially what it is is discussing university policy anything that you can think of so i know that folks have been uh having discussions about um withdraw deadlines specific policies around that um, there's also some policies that are less student facing um, in terms of like faculty and staff insurance, but it's essentially university wide policy. If that. If that makes sense. OK. So. Um, just go to nomination. Um, is there anyone? Is there anyone who wants to nominate someone or nominate themselves for university policy committee chair? Representative, I should say. Would you have anyone you want to nominate, Amelia? Um, at this time, I do not. Um, I can't quite remember um, everybody's current existing commitments, um, but I know this is something that Matt had voice wanting to be a part of. Um, I also wouldn't be opposed to like almost doing a, a co-chair assignment with Matthew and Patrick, just because I know that Patrick joined um tsac after we did committee assignments um and i know he has i know he's working on stuff um but if it's something that he's interested in i think it's beautiful opportunity but i don't want to force it on anybody um just to recap for those who just entered the room uh we are amelia was not able to uh make the commitments for the university policy committee because of some stuff so we're re-voting a new uh, representative for it and so uh, we're just getting on to who would like to either self-nominate or nominate someone else. You want to self-nominate or do you have to get a nomination? I'm just going to, because Amelia suggested for me, but on the cap topic with the uh, timing schedule for 2.30 at SSL meetings. You have to do this on Thursdays and do not have ECB meetings. So 
Christina would not be able to take on that task as we said I'd like to. Okay. I don't mind her it's on like the co-representation. Um, but I want to make sure that I'm not overstretching myself so absolutely. There's also something that I'm gonna I suggest is having a co-chair role, like two people for the committee. Well, So Matt would be willing to do it if there's a co-representative option. Is that correct? Is there any way that would, else would that would be willing to do it if there was a co-representative option? I know I'm unable to make it because of a class conflict as well. What time is it again? 2.30. Two thirty, Tuesdays and Thursdays, right, Amelia? Oh, uh, I can't do Thursdays. Just Tuesdays. Just Tuesdays. Okay. And it's kind of sporadic, right? Not like yeah. okay. Yeah, it's it it's very similar to a to a bi weekly schedule. Uh it doesn't quite follow that, but it like conceptually um So the jigsaw I got from that is that there's not exactly a set schedule. Some of the times there's meetings twice a month, sometimes there's only once, sometimes there's no meetings in the month because of the holidays. Um, who's the rep who's like the faculty person in charge? Of you? Yes. Do you know who that is? I do not. Amelia, do you know the faculty person in charge of this committee? I can check right now. Because I don't start my new job for a minute, so I don't mind taking it on for a while. So you want to self-nominate? Sure, why not? Good mic. Anybody else who likes to self-nominate? We'll throw out something, though. Because actually, if you can take it on for a little bit, I think I can catch up on a lot of other stuff and take it over by the time you need to switch over. Okay. And you guys can work that out as mm -hmm. co-representatives. Um, since we're not hearing any nominations, can I add something really no, quickly? Yeah, Amelia, go for it. I was just gonna say, even though I can't be there for the for the actual meetings, if it want if it wants like if folks want to do um co chair situation, I'm happy to support with projects outside of those meeting times. It's just the meeting the physical meeting time. I cannot make the meeting time. Um, but I just wanted I just wanted to name that as well as that I'm happy to still stay in very much a supporting an active role um, just outside of the meetings themselves. I am also uh, might lose cell reception soon, but I will stay stay put while I can just wanted to name that as well for the Thanks. accountability chair. Yeah. So for clarification, then, yeah. uh, which would you prefer, Mike? Or then, uh, I'm free basically to end November and then I start working again. So, so I don't mind taking off the November and then afterwards we can discuss it, whatever works for y'all. So, yeah, I'll evaluate at the end of the mm -hmm. semester. Yeah, we'll switch to a coach or thing for anything. But if it is a recurring meeting, I'll make it. I'll be there. So, right. and they will have more availability next semester than they have this semester. So, I'll be taking at least one less class. Okay. Just want to skip it? Just so, yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, I just want to make a motion to uh, skip the voting and speeches and all that so that we can move on for business. And to nominate them into the yeah. representative positions for the University Policy Committee. Yeah, motion to nominate them for the University Policy Committee. Second that. All opposed? All in favor? Aye. 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 Sick. Congratulations, Mike. <laughs> All right, uh, moving on to next motion. Uh, real quick, I guess, uh, is there anybody wanting to speak for public comment? No one? All right. Nobody's meeting, right? So we'll just move on to next order of business. Um, real quick, just a quick comment. Sorry. 
I do, I, I would motion that we extend public comment for another five minutes since we are five minutes late to recognizing public comment. I'll second that motion. Any objections? Any abstentions? All in favor? Aye. Perfect. If anybody comes in for public comment, we'll drop what we're doing. We'll go ahead and take it up until 11.55 instead of the normal 11.50 time. Um, if anybody chooses to come in. Can you ever make contact with the person to the policy? As soon as Amelia gets us the contact. I think I might have some of that too. Yeah, uh, Amelia, can you give them the contact information for the meetings to both uh, Matt and Mike? Yes, I can forward the calendar invites right now. Thank you. Uh, yeah, we'll just move on to next order of business, uh, org or treat resolution. Okay, so the few of you that were able to come to the PR meeting on Monday, we were talking about the Halloween event that we were just, we wanted to do on the 31st. But then um, KV mentioned the old treat that all three schools are doing. So we decided to do that instead of hosting a Halloween event at the office. Also because we don't know how long they want to take on eating or fixing the room, et cetera. We'll so by Tuesday. Oh. We'll be done fine on Tuesday. Oh, okay. Well, so basically, I we believe of doing this or you see this event will just help us just to table and also just to do a fun activity with students like hey we also students too those resources here we also want to give our school supplies and just do a fun activity with them that's all we're working on pulling up the resolution right now on the team's meeting but do you just want to go ahead and start the read through of it even though we don't have the physical version pulled up if you're able to access it on your end, for some it struggles since it's a new room. No, it's okay. Okay. Can you hear me? Uh oh. Are we on every state? Uh, student government, student advocacy council, Metropolitan University of Denver, second session, October 18, 2024, CR 24 08. Orgs or treat, table and event. Authored by Susan Villa Gomez, Shavon McKinney, Patrick Cervera, and endorsed by Hindi Glass. Abstract, TSEC is dedicated to using the council's power and position to promote student well-being and enhance the on-campus experience. The Public Relations Committee, as part of this dedication, defines public relations at MSU Denver and places a strong emphasis on transparency with students, social networking with student organizations, and the creation of a community for all MSU Denver students. To achieve these goals, SGTSAC is eager to participate an or, or treat event, but an opportunity to connect with students and other student organizations. Whereas the Metropolitan State University Students Government, the Student Advocacy Council's mission is to support the evolving needs of the MSU Denver students by advocating their best interests to enhance the university experience and opportunities. Joining the org or treats event will help us connect to students with fun activities and learn who SGTSAC is. Whereas the orgs and treat tabling event will be held at the table where tables will be provided. This event will help students have a fun activity with SGT SAC members, grab school supplies, and a pamphlet to find to of where to find us, resources they can use, upcoming events, and where our weekly meeting will be that SGT SAC will have. Therefore, be a further call. We request the public relations continue to use the funding to get Decorations for the activity we plan to do for orgs or treat tabling events. Son of Diego Gomez, date October 4th, 2024. Sean McKinney, date October 24th, I'm October 4th, 2024. Pastor Vera, date October 4th, 2024. Any questions, comments, concerns on this resolution? You take that as a no. Yep, uh, let's make a motion to uh, vote to approve this resolution. A second. Um, all opposed? Stand. Just I was about to say that. Yeah. Uh, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Perfect. Congrats. Resolution passes. I try to eat as the 50 test
Perfect. It's still not looking like anybody's joining for public comment, so I'll go ahead and continue on. Um, I just threw on here the doing a quick debrief of the grab and go event. We can do a more in depth one, like out of PR committee meeting, but just so like everybody has the chance to contribute because I know not everybody can make those meetings. Um, I just wanted to start off by saying I thought it was overall really successful, and I wanted to give a shout out to the PR committee for the planning side of things and everybody that was able to attend those events and bring students in. Um, but I will pass it over to the rest of the council for any specific feedback. I do have a couple points to find out if anybody has anything. Uh, I, I also did because um, I was there for majority events. I wanted to say thank you guys for coming and make time to come out there and talk to students and try to tell them about the events we had, not only just for what TSEC is and what we do, but also some, some people talked about the committees, about um, some initiatives we're pushing, and students were really involved, really enjoyed that. So thank you for you guys you know, putting effort out to make it, and uh, thank you for your help for the event. Uh, about the committee. My bad. So Patrick, Matt, then Mike. You're starting to what Levi was saying. Um, I think honestly, we should all be pretty proud of, of of what this event because not only were we able to spread the word, but it was a conjoined effort between all of us. I don't think there were. I think each and every one of us was at the event pretty much, and we were able to rely on each other to be there. So it's really great to be part of a team where we don't have to worry about anything like that. All right, uh, Matt. I just want to give general props to our PR team. Um, we've been hearing lots of people say that TSAC's doing a lot of great work, and a lot of that is you helping be our public face, as well as us coming up and being there as well. Sips and Sire was a good name. I just want to put that out there. Um, anyways, uh, is there any more uh, questions before we get into uh, the next part, which is uh, what we want to sustain for the um, yeah. I just had a couple of talking points from feedback that I heard either from like people that came to the table like upper administration wise or just some council members. Uh, Patrick, I know you were the one that worked on the pamphlet. I did hear some feedback from a couple of different council members, advisors, and then Dr. Simpkins actually had some feedback also. Um, so I was wondering if it was possible first to kind of rework it a little bit at the next PR meeting. PR committee meeting that way we can kind of polish it up if we're going to continue using it for future events. It was really good and it did the job, but there's just a couple of little things that I think we could refine to make it a little bit more informative and just kind of touch it up aesthetically as well uh, for use in future events. I thought it served a really good purpose. So, so I want to put this. Yeah, for its first iteration of this event, it was, it was really good. I'm glad. Yeah. Um, Who's next? To, yeah. Oh, wait. Um, Kristen, I'm going to go ahead and. Yeah. Hi, Kristen. Are you dropping in for a public comment? Hi, everyone. Um, I am a faculty senator and I'm on the Student Affairs Committee. And so um, I was asked to just be here today in case um, there's anything that you all need faculty senate to know about. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much for stopping in. If you have any questions at any time, feel free to unmute or throw it in the chat. Um, right now, we're just working on some pros and cons from an event that we ran, and then we're getting into updates uh, coming up shortly. Perfect. Thanks so much. Okay, sorry, Susanna, if you want to continue. Um, we could talk about it in PR meeting, but I'll, just for a pamphlet, like, do we need like more specific details to, like that we have an idea of like what to change on the pamphlet? Um, yes, I'm happy to dive into this at a PR meeting, though. Okay, thank you. For the sake of time. I wonder what change. <laughs> Your photo? <laughs> yeah. I wonder how costume you took a photo of it. Yeah. Um, there... before I continue going, does anybody else have any feedback they want to give before I just continue with the floor? I was going to join after you, but give my two cents. Yeah, I am too. I have one thing, but it's a very big thing. Um, I think one of the days we were put in a not the best spot. We were put somewhere in the middle. If anyone remembers that day, yeah. Was it the Lawrence Crossing? Mm -hmm. It was where we're uh, by the clinic. Yeah, in the middle of the, the health center. center. Yeah, excuse me. And that's I was I didn't think it was in my personal opinion the best location for that. So I think for like future reference, we should avoid that spot. 
near the tip. What, what day was it that I could look at the... It was the third time we were doing it, or okay. it was the second. This yeah. I could look at the thing that not to do that again. Yeah. And then, um, that's sorry, it. that's all I have. Thank you. Yep, did answer that. That's what I, I did like to follow. Is okay. Okay. this kind of CU students kind of intersecting with MSU? Or just stayed at MSU? I mean, it's just like not a lot of people went into that. Like, yeah. Um, Patrick. Yeah, if anyone has any suggestions, I mean, like any, because like everyone said, this is a work in progress. If we really want to get what we want to do and have this be a great event each time promoting ourselves, I suggest strongly, if you aren't able to make it to the PR committee meeting to definitely um, send me or any of uh, Sana or Siobhan anything uh, related to that, any suggestions or anything that you notice better. That way we can adjust it for the next time or possibly take into account for our next meetings. Okay. Um, anyone have any direct comment to that? Victor? Not direct comment to that, but just to, to overall. I guess like a suggestion would probably be like a lot of students came up and were talking to us about things that they wanted to change or like they wanted, you know, like the RTD or what have you. Maybe there could have been like a not like a survey, but somewhere where to drop down your ideas. So then we later as a as a T set be able to read those and see what we can focus on. I think that might be yeah. a pretty good idea. Like a board or something, you know. Like a human cake or like QR code for like the sign in thing, adding like a do you have any yeah suggestions for things student government should be exploring. And then the one thing about the QR code, I think it was a very I think it I don't know. Students were not very wanted to do wanted it. to do it, so maybe just like a marker in the board or like a pencil and like a big paper. Just yeah, like jot down what you do. yeah specifically for you know such as grabbing them. Oh, yeah. ominous box maybe or like yeah. anonymous. just like a wait box. That's a question box. box. Hmm? And then non anonymous box before other offers. Remember that's a talking point we had last year. But we should do that. That'd be funny. Because like yeah. some students probably don't yeah. want to like give out their email. Exactly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to be anonymous to the <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I have the same criticism right. as Victor, where I felt like the paper sign in was, I felt the paper sign in was a little bit more successful. On the QR code one, right now I have a total of 30 responses, and 10 people indicated yes, they were interested in um, helping or joining or getting involved in student government in some manner. And like 53% of respondents said that they would maybe be interested. So, I think that's still pretty solid numbers, but I do think the paper was more successful. Could be worth switching over to that for future events, doing some sort of paper sign in. Yeah, I have a that's question. Um, if do you have a, do you have those emails? With I do you have that written? result for the virtual one. The paper one is in the office. And a follow up: if, Will we have who's going to be in charge, or is that going to be a PR thing, or? I'm not sure what we're with you and Levi's shares. If you guys want to like email those to set up that email that we're thinking about of asking them and writing them to certain events or letting them know that they will receive more in the future. I think we are going to wait a little bit to kind of solidify that delegacy program a little bit more and get that resolution passed before we send anything official out. We might try and at least gather the emails and just send a hey, thanks for attending our event. Um, I'm happy to have Levi and I do that unless PR committee wants to tackle that. Either way. No, I don't. Uh, Matt, thing. there is actually at least one thing I could think of to get people involved before we even get the delicacy thing going. Because um, I think Victor has the dates, but... The town hall. The RTD town hall. Yeah, it's on the 28th. Mm. Yeah, we should get that. 28th. We got... Like you days. It's 11 to 3 is the time. You guys should all have the date and time. Dr. Garone forwarded it yeah, to I, an email. Yeah. I could read it out to you real quick. Oh, of course, I uh, uh, yeah. okay, It's uh, October 28th and November 14th in Tivoli 320. Mm -hmm. The times are different for each of those days, though, so I didn't have them written in my notes. Yeah. Um, I think those are all great points, though. Do you guys want to tackle sending out that initial email, or would you like Levi and I to take care of that? 
Okay, you guys can do it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right. I will add it to the two. Yeah. <laughs> therapy art is a lot. So. Um, the only other suggestion that I had for y'all regarding the event was possibly instead of doing that chart where you just have everybody sign in in one column for the whole day, maybe having it broken down a little bit more by time. So like seven to eight for setup. Haley and Leo, I will be there. Eight to nine for this. So and so and so and so will be there. Just so it's a little bit more laid out so that we can make sure all time zones are covered. Because I know there was some worry where I was like, hey, I have to leave for class at two. But like, is anybody going to be here to cover me? So if we have it a little bit more laid out, that'll keep us a little bit more organized for future events. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, but yeah, any other questions, concerns, comments about that of grab and go event? Well, shout out to Haley. Sorry there every time. <laughs> and Levi. Levi coming away from spring. Yes, that's a commitment. Yeah, so no, thank you. So shout out to you guys. Shout out to the chair. Thank you. Okay. Okay. All right, then um, if we have no more uh, questions, comments, or anything for the grab and go event, we'll go on to. Was Thank you, Dr. Brown. Okay. Um, we'll move on to uh, board and committee announcements slash updates. Uh, we'll get started with uh, Mike at the top. Oh, about this. Um, so, yes, we had a retreat last week. That's why I was in and out. And before I go, I will be, I'll be here next week. I will be in France, so I will not be at the meeting next week. Just letting you know. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, I'll bring out a baguette. Um, but so we had a retreat, um, and we kind of discussed kind of going in the future. What is the board's kind of plan? And like, what are the shifts in, in like, my children in college students? And really interesting shift I, I found was. Um, Students nowadays kind of value short term propositions more than like a long term investment in like life stuff, whether it's like an education, a master's, PhD. Um, that's one thing that they they kind of took a note on is like the newer generations really, really kind of focus on that sh short term kind of uh, not, not motivate what? Gratification. Gratification, yeah, exactly. So um, we talked about that. We talked a lot about mental health and how can we kind of tackle that crisis. Kids getting it is something that's on their mind getting worse. Um, we talked about what made school successful, and every board trustee person said our diverse community. Uh, they also said like what makes this school successful, makes us uh, who we are, gives our identity. So it's a lot. So we did a lot, and then we kind of did intake for the four new board members that are coming on this year. That that whole intake process. But yeah, a lot of kind of cool things there to share, to kind of discuss about um, a lot of high level, high high level things as well. So, but I think on the radar. To be concerned about. So, oh yeah, enrollment's up too. Good, nice. Um, any questions, comments? All right, moving on to uh, SIGCAB with Matt and Victor. Um, so as a, well, I guess we all got the email too about the town hall, um, for TT. Um, they're still making movement. Trying to get us a vote on ABOD. Um, but mostly today we went over more of our committees so we can understand more of our positions and so we can do more things. Do you have anything? Um, they already did everything. We're still working on it. Uh, yeah, we're trying to get an RTD rep to come in to speak to SICAP specifically, and that would be between town halls just so we can get more information. And then I pitched a, well, just an idea, but it was writing a referendum for each institution specifically, and then SICAP would write one as well, just so we have all the institutions represented in that, just so with all the information that we have, with the rep and the town hall meetings to be able to see if it is even worth it to do the RGDS. Uh, yeah, other than that, we're good. Any questions, comments, concerns? All right, moving on to the next one, uh, accountability committee. Well, I've been working with my committee on the Constitution, there have been a few setbacks and I foresaw that happening. So that's why I gave that time frame of 
maybe towards the beginning of this, like being the end of the semester or the very end of the year kind of time frame. Um, but we're still working on it. Um, the next step for that would be to compile all the comments that we have made into Brandon's template. Thank you, Brandon, for that. And potentially have to reword, rewrite things. So it's all one cohesive and um, cohesive document that flows because right now that is not what the constitution is, unfortunately. And um, yeah, we're working on that. Another note is it when, when and if, right? I think it's gonna be when, when we pass this delegate program and if we deem it to be a success, then it will probably have to end up on the Constitution as well. Just for anyone um, thinking about that future, future lens right there for that. Um, that is all I have for accountability. Everyone's been great. You know, I haven't had to talk to any counselors about anything, thankfully. So thank you all for that. And, you know, doing the best at your job. I appreciate it. Thank you. Any questions, comments, concerns? All right, moving on to the next one, uh, the budget committee with Patrick and Mike. Um, just, just recapping on what we did last meeting, uh, voting on to that, voting to the Afrotech. Um, I did send them an email. It was a bit late on my behalf. However, um, they said they would get back in touch with me on Monday to give us down that breakdown that we were asking of how those expenditures would be used. Um, I'm also starting to wrap things up. With wrapping up of the grab and go events, I'm going to have to be collecting the receipts and input in that. And by next Friday for our next meeting, I should have an updated budget that we have for PR. And if anyone has out anything else for the budget, Sustainability, you guys can do that. Um, just keep me informed and then we'll have a, everything updated. Anything, Mike? All right. Any questions, comments, concerns? All right. Moving on to the PR committee with Mons, Dan, and Patrick. Okay. So, have you saw the resolution? It's already accepted, but I didn't want to bring up the, t the PR timeline again. Um, we're going to start creating that time zone that Haley suggested because I think that's a good idea. We all know when it's fitting in certain time slot. And for the town hall, what was the second date? November 14th, that worked. November 14th? Yes. Okay. And then we will have our next PR meeting next Monday. I will send an invite by the end of the day. End of the day. And that's pretty much it. I have. Um, do you have anything? Where is it? You can call me. What's he? So, direct comment to that. Will you guys have an online option? I was going to think about it. I prefer not to do online stuff because I feel like online, me from personal experience, is not has, um, how can I say, um, effective. But I will get that option out if that is wanted to. Because uh, basically, the reason I ask is I want to make the meetings for it, but it's just that um, yeah. Lemon Springs, I drive up here inside. But for you guys have an online option, so I can attend the meetings. Okay. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You didn't put it. Do you have a comment? No, I was just say it does partially depend on um, the availability of the competition stuff, but I don't think that's going to be an issue because we could just pull it up on yeah. somebody's computer and see the eye or something. So it should be fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. For next Monday, I was just thinking, but Any more? not an issue. Well, oh, I didn't choose the date yet. Of what? Put in Monday. Next Monday. This Monday. Okay. I also wanted to follow up with Victor about the flyer that you posted. Do you um, we were planning to post it by the by today, but we wanted to ask if you wanted to post it on Monday, something that Haley suggested. Or... Post it where? 
on his Instagram. Yeah. I suggested waiting until Monday just so that way we have all of the boxes up and ready to go. Uh, I thought it would be more effective to post it then. I mean, I don't mind that. On Monday? Yeah. Okay. And that's pretty much it on we have all tap. Do you have anything to say? Do you have anything to say? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, then is there any questions, comments, concerns for the PR committee? Oh, wow. Sorry, real quick. Forgive my ignorance. Um, the Halloween event, right? That's going to be Thursday, correct? Yes. Right now. Yeah. Like in a, in a week of now. It's on home. Yeah, it, it is on I'll bring your costume. Yeah. Costume, I will remember. So, I think it's the Halloween event. One to three. Okay. It says tables to wear costumes. I think we were specific of that. But, you know, maybe it would be fun to represent TSAC in a fun way. Sure. Or just a card. Makes sense, but. You're <laughs> Red top. Is there any more questions or comments? All right, then we're going to move on to the sustainability committee with Victor and Haley. Yeah, do you want me to? Go ahead. All right. Um, so, as I mentioned just a second ago, the clothing drive, we're getting some of those boxes up a little bit late just because we were waiting on getting them from the ASCP and getting that sign finalized from them as well. Um, Victor and I are going to try and put them up on Monday. Um, there is a chance we may need to use some of our funding to purchase additional boxes because it seems like there is a bigger ask for participation in this than we were expecting, which is a good thing. We're not mad about that. So we may be needing to purchase additional boxes on top of the ones that the ASCP is providing. Um, Y'all should have seen in the PR chat that flyer that they created, which was great. Looks really good, actually. You should bring it up. Um, we will be bringing up a resolution at some point for TSAC to table at AHA week on November 21st. We are still deciding on um, exactly what we want to do with that, which is why we don't have the resolution ready for this week. Um, but we'll be bringing it up in the next couple of weeks, obviously giving out free school supplies, sharing who we are. But if you guys have any additional ideas on some additional resources that we could do that would really tie into the theme of AHA Week, I think it would be really great to hear from y'all at either the Sustainability Committee mm -hmm. meetings or if you just want to tell us in your own personal time. And then we are also still looking for additional resources to include in AHA Week in general. So if you guys know of any organizations, nonprofits, anybody on campus that would be interested in either tabling, doing workshops, speaking on a panel, or participating in some other form, uh, please just send them our way. So I think that's pretty much all I had, unless you had anything to add, Vic. I think that's it. Thank you, guys. Please bring your blankets and jackets. No towels. Don't do towels. Please don't do towels. You don't know. Jack and Blake, it's got it. Is there any comments, questions, or concerns for the same building committee, Patrick? So you guys are saying that you're going to have to go more of your budget. Yeah, it's just buying cardboard boxes, though. The cardboard cool. boxes are like five bucks. Like, oh, okay. <laughs> like that. Yeah. yeah. If y'all have any that you would want to bring in for us to just repurpose instead, that could be beneficial too. I know I probably have a couple in my house. Do you guys have a So to say, yeah, of what you're going to do, because I know you guys are going to do your yeah. thousand to match. Mm -hmm. Right? So right. Weren't you guys going to use your budget to match with the. Mm -hmm. uh, how up, to, up to the thousand, yeah. Yeah. Yes. yeah but we, we want to know the final number before we actually. Come to a conclusion and bring you a final number. Yeah. Okay. We're also going to be doing it somewhat on a rolling basis for them counting the amount of jackets and blankets that we're collecting so that we can keep an ongoing tally. Um, so that we can order them sooner rather than waiting to lunch and ordering them during off all week. So. And a, and a good, good thing to know last year they collected 500 pounds of clothes. So we're doing double the time that they did. So we're probably going to collect a good amount of clothes, I'd say. So yeah. I think we might reach the thousand dollars, but again, I, I'm not sure. That's like an estimate. Yeah, but we do have a lot of boxes. That, so there's like that I know of that I've connected with. There's four professors that want to do it in their specific department, and those are four separate departments. And then library, administration building, JSSB, Tivoli, Plaza, 
I mean, it's it's everywhere. So. Yeah, and Riley had a couple of um, people that wanted to have boxes as well, so she was going to send us that list. I also forgot to mention that um, I think CU Denver is going to kind of mimic on us and kind of like do the same boxes with like our logo and branding in their buildings as well, so that we can kind of collect from CU Denver students as well. Um, just to kind of expand it a little bit, it's going to be TSAC sponsored. But they just wanted to have to have CU Denver students donate as well. Okay, we're gonna go Matt, Matt. Pat, and then well. So I had a curious question: on How do you determine the matching? Uh, what do you mean determine the matching? Yeah, because you're doing a dollar match value for something that mm -hmm. value is. You could do wholesale. You could do. You could buy on bulk. So that's what we were planning on doing. No, but how did? Based on how much is donated, how do you determine that cost for what you're matching? You know, over time. So, I so you donate. We spend on buying the blankets and jackets to match, if that makes sense. No, I'm talking about the pre side of that. Say I bring in two blankets. How do you decide how much that cost? Based on the research that we did before with the wholesalers and blankets okay. that we did. Okay. But yeah. you didn't know that piece. Yeah. I was just asking. Mm -hmm. If a gem of you're coming in, to really take a look at it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Comment to Matt's. Mm -hmm. Patrick? Um, may I just put a suggestion that way? Get many more boxes. As you know, we just said that we could donate some from ourselves. Maybe we could connect in the PR committee meeting to put out flyers via Snapchat or Instagram for anyone who wants to donate boxes. They could possibly be here at TSAC. That way we don't have to get that extra spending money, even if it's, you know, the dimes and the dollars. They were also suggesting um, that if the specific departments have a box, that they just set up the box and we send them the flyer and then they just staple the flyer with themselves. And then if they do set up a box, then they send us an email and then we go pick it up. That might be a good suggestion as well, but that does sound like a lot. Since I know there was a lot of people did want to participate, so yeah. which is good. I think which is really. Yeah, nice. I think it's great. Think so good. We could talk. We could talk. Yeah. Any comment to Patrick's statement? Well, um, so I heard mention of CU Denver. Um, I've thought of. Uh, including maybe ccd or like reaching out to ccd and make it well yes um both victor and i have reached out to council members from ccd to loop them into aha week just kind of in general except for we just haven't been able to get them to have somebody on the committee meetings quite yet once they have somebody attending those committee meetings we will offer for them to also loop in their students into the clothing time as well but it's just getting them into the bigger aha week meetings first mm -hmm. Um, but we have both been in contact with a couple of people trying to get them in on that. I'm glad we're working with CD Denver. They're working with us, should I say. I'm sure we want to stop. Is there any comments to Will's statement? Is there anything else you have for us, Haley, Victor? That's all from sustainability. All right, then. We'll be moving over to open four announcements and updates. Um, I did have... Uh, one update for uh, shirt governance, but is there anyone else that has anything for open for announcements? I don't know what that's Patrick. Um, well, then who else? Um, I forgot. Su then Susanna, and then it'll be Haley. Um, so I'll just go first real quick. Um, for the shirt governance committee, they're still trying to decide on the policy and how we work as a body. Um, so with the faculty I'm working with there, it's a lot of just wordsmithing and deciding what certain words in our constitution stuff is going on. So that's all that's going on for that. Um, from there, uh, that's all I have to say. So, Patrick. Um, just based on this meeting that we had the PR committee with um, Lisa Montoya. So following, this is going to be for the spring of 2025, but just to keep you guys in the back of your mind, we just start finalizing doing something. We're going to start beginning our processes, but just as an announcement, we're planning on doing an event that's going to be take place in Timothy Turn Hall on January 22nd. Um, it's going to be a pretty big one for um, first times to for first students, new students coming in and transfer students of the spring semester. Um, I think it's going to be a great way that way we, we were given the second floor with the catering, so we're probably going to get a lot of people's attention. So just keep in mind something that if you have any great ideas, your community is going to be 
I plan on working hard on this because I think it's a great opportunity for us to get our name out from the beginning, from freshman year, building up the acknowledgement of TSAC. That way they can tell probably the future as well. So um, I plan that to be a big thing and I would like for everyone to be involved as much as possible so we can get this uh, big event for us. Is there any comments to Patrick directly? Really? I have a direct comment to that. Uh, we also might be looping in sustainability committee with that because they're doing these commuter care packages and they express interest in maybe having us help collaborate on that. Commuter, um, care, packages. commuter care packages. I can dive into them a little bit deeper with you after the meeting, but that meeting was this morning, so I didn't have a chance to connect with you yet. Anyone else? Well, um, me and Pat are going to try to send an email to a lot of the students who signed up at the tabling for SAB. I just want to be transparent and let the council know about that before we do it. <clears throat> Any comments to? We maybe want to create an email with that opportunity and like the town hall together. So do you guys just want to partner? You want to? Uh, what's up? Yes, but you don't want to put, we have a limited amount of seats, so we don't want to give it to everybody, everybody, mm -hmm. just a good amount, because we do want to have everyone be informed, but it is already a limited. I mean, just to that list that we got. At least we got. It's, it's only two yeah. seats. All right. Just curious. I'm just put out to, are you planning on sending it only to the interested people? Because we didn't have people mark that they were interested on the paper form. Just the... I mean, how many interested people do we have? Like there, you said not even on the form, but there was a lot on the paper sign up, and we did not do anything to indicate that they were interested in getting. I think the, the form, then, yeah. Um, I, if you want, you can work with us to send that email, okay. so you can potentially add whatever piece that's not directly interfering with the SAB recruitment. Yeah. Um, when you're saying SAB, this is for them to sit on SAB with y'all? Yes, because we still need to fill in about like four seats, about uh, rough uh, approximate and uh, or estimate, excuse me. So we're going to put there on the email that there's limited seating. We're going to be specific. Actually, we're going to say probably four seats only. Yeah, but definitely um, more engaged for the informational meeting. That way everyone can have a gist of what they're going to be involved in. <laughs> so, you know, same capacity and availability. And, you know, they're able to, to take a, a task of this importance. And this is something that Emily's asking you all to do. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay. That's fine. Any more direct comments to Will? Susanna? Um, on David. I just forgot to mention this in PR committee. Um, can I mention it during okay. yeah. announcement? Okay. So for the boxes, I was just thinking of making like a like small video on Instagram of like us donating stuff that I encourage more students to donate, like clothing or et cetera. And for the upcoming election, um I was thinking of making a small video of like encouraging students to vote, not anything specific in different parties. It's just like, vote. just vote, you know, because like it doesn't look biased or anything. That is, I feel like that's my number one thing that I want to do for them since it's coming up pretty fast. And um, I also wanted to see how do you guys feel about a newsletter? Because since now we have emails, we just send out students newsletters of like, well, our teas to like, no, I love that idea. So, I was on a science platform and they were learning. I think it was a million. I'd say uh, direct comment to um, Susanna's um, um, updates. Uh, I had one, but I'll let Will go first. Um, uh, have like have you thought of the logistics of developing the newsletter and sending it and factoring in that with your busy schedule? I have not factored it in yet. It was just a thought I had because mm -hmm. I just wanted to see how what everybody opinions are. I just wanted to do something fun with the newsletter, not something so serious. Like, what is Haley doing? Haley went 
do a small trip like that. Something like we could connect with students. Yeah. Not some like also and we can dive into the specifics yeah. at a PR committee meeting. Yeah. If you have things not starting like this semester, but hoping to start like next semester. Right. I feel like that will connect okay. us better with students. Otherwise, I feel like should long is already been kind of doing that. Mm-hmm. I mean, some of going to happen. Yeah. Like in mean, the Instagram. On Instagram, we post what's mm-hmm. going to happen. I did have a suggestion. Um, if you were to go about that, we could pair with uh, media to help assist with that and like help disseminate it and stuff. Um, that's all I had. Uh, is there any more uh, direct comments to Susanna? Um, all right, then we will move on. My turn. Your turn? Yeah. I've got yeah. a long list of updates. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> <Anyway>. <laughs> This is basically all elections related. So there is a lot happening right now across campus surrounding elections. Um, and I encourage you guys to all participate in whatever events you guys can and are able to. Um, I'm about to list a bunch of them. I'm not able to attend a lot of them, but I'm attending quite a few of them. If you guys want specific details about any of these events, please ask me outside of the meeting and not right now. But I'm happy to share the flyers in the chat and we can distribute them to students as well. Um, starting with the two events that happened over the past week, we did that informational session on ballot security with the Denver County Clerk's Office. That was a success. Um, I had been helping Dr. Poise out with that, and we got a shout out at the Election Sync meeting for that event. Um, the Assassinating Democracy event was yesterday, and I thought it was pretty successful and super interesting. I know Victor was also able to attend for a little bit. It was also recorded. I don't have the link quite yet, but I can share that out with anybody who's interested in watching that back. Uh, but some really interesting conversations. Um, you guys should have all received an email from Mike Ramsey from External Relations. Um, they're hosting a bipartisan panel that will be moderated by President Davidson. This is going to be next Tuesday um, from 2 to 3 in the Cavia. Um, I'm going to be at this event, and I actually was able to convince my professor to bring my entire con law class to this event. So should be pretty interesting. Um, also, on that same day, October 22nd, next Tuesday, there is a check-in and circle up with the Restorative Justice Coalition. You might have seen a third on campus. Um, this will be from 1230 to 2, and lunch will be provided. I have the RSVP link. If anybody is interested, I can send that over to you on Teams. Um, Dr. Barone forwarded us an opportunity to attend a conversation on healthcare policy with Dr. Donna Lynn and Dr. Davidson. Um, this event is going to be next Friday. Um, from 2.30 to 3.30, also in the Cavia, but you have to RSVP, RSVP by next Tuesday if you want to attend. Again, I have the flyer and the link to register if you guys want that. Um, next Monday, there's going to be a Jeffco election site visit. I also have a flyer for that. <laughs> um, and then on the 31st, they're doing one for the Denver election site visit. Um, there is going to be media present at both of these, so could be cool if you guys want to attend. Um, I'm doing an interview for the Jeffco elections one, um, but it could be cool to have somebody have the go to the Denver one as well. I'm not a Denver voter, so I didn't think it was appropriate for me to go, um, but it's also falls at the same time as president's cabinet. Um, I think it was Victor that had this question last time about a space geared directly towards immigrants and or those unable to vote. Um, coming out of immigration services, um, they're doing a post-election day processing space. Um, I have the information for that. It's going to be Thursday, November 7th. But then Auraria Votes also reached out to me and asked if we would be willing to partner with them on a Instagram post of some sort, giving um, detailed information on how those who can't vote can still be involved in the election in some capacity. Um, my friend, Laura, who I work in CMEI with, is on Auraria Votes, so we've kind of been chatting about that. Um, but I'm happy to extend that to PR and kind of loop you guys in on those conversations so that can be more collaborative. Um, it was just a thought, not something she's actually done any groundwork on, but I think it could be really beneficial. Yes, please. Um, could also do groundwork. Perfect. Um, we are doing an elections watch party. Um, I was talking a little bit with Dr. Poise about that yesterday and having TSAC help advertise. It sounds like he's going to throw the TSAC logo on the flyer for that, but we're not going to be putting any funding in towards it from what I'm hearing. Um, sounds like it'll just be in the brewery again, like they've done traditionally. Um, uh, and I would encourage you guys to all attend that if possible. Um, Poise wants it to be a big thing because there is also going to be media president at that. Um, he's also working on a what now informational sessions for after the election to kind of go over like 
what the results mean and like if we don't have an exact outcome yet like what happens next when will we hear the next news so putting together a panel of professors for that and then there's also going to be a processing events more on the emotional side of things for students to help de-stress um, from that. It's looking like um, Auraria Votes is going to partner with CMEI, student government, and a couple other offices on putting this event together. Um, so we're going to have to try and think of something cool to do to help students de-stress, um, relax from stress that may come from this election. Um, so if you guys have any ideas, shoot them my way. I do have a couple of my own, and I know I was working a little bit with CMEI on a couple ideas as well, but uh, that's pretty much it for elections. So I'll skip my other updates in case, or pause my other updates if you guys have questions, concerns about any of those. I was going to... questions, wait. I see a reminder, um, all, if you want more information about it, get with Haley after, but yeah. All right, uh, the only other update that I have was for the representative program. We have that meeting today at three. Um, I plan on trying to finalize the resolution to bring up uh, to the full council next week. So please attend if you're available and you have any input on this. Um, I do have another meeting that runs up until three. So I probably will not be able to make it to like 310, 315. But if you guys want to start the meeting at three and then I can just join you guys as soon as I'm available. Right, comments. Yeah. The delicate, delegate thing is, um, I would just suggest that we don't try to rush through this. It's a new program. I would really want us to flush out like the guidelines and like the requirements and stuff. So I would just highly suggest that we don't try to pass it like, oh, we worked on it today and we gave this input, pass it the next meeting kind of idea. This is something that we should flush out, flush, you know what I mean, um, throughout maybe the next two months or something. Because we're bringing in a bunch of people and creating a whole new system. So just a suggestion. Second that. All right. Yeah, I can definitely look at passing that back a little further. It seemed like we had quite a few of the details figured out. So we can kind of see after the meeting today and where we're at with that. Um, I do want to try and keep the interest of students. So I mean, we just got all of their information. If we don't loop them in on anything I'm worried we might lose their interest but if you guys are doing other things with like the town hall and such that's less of a concern um so we can talk a little bit more timeline at the meeting up okay. here if you guys are able to make it and then everybody else covered my other updates so I think that's all yeah uh, besides just more information about stuff is there any more to our comments to you? all right then we'll move on to the next one which is faculty and staff senate with Matt and Siobhan so far um we don't have any update on next meetings. But start for the faculty. It's on um, the 30th of next. That's uh, yeah, the 30th of this month. Wednesday. Yeah, and um, yeah, there's no update. But I would like to let the um, council know that um, on the 25th of this month and uh, on November 1st, I won't be able to attend the Friday meetings because I have two conferences. You have, um, yeah, the first for you, but but then I have um, a woman in STEM conference next Friday, and then the um, Haku, I'm going to that conference. And yeah, that's Friday, November 1st, also. Yeah. How many people are going to Haku? Only me and Will. So, okay. Yeah, I, thank you, Siobhan, for bringing that up. I completely forgot. Uh, I won't be able to attend that Friday meeting either. Thank you. I'm the first. Mine's is the 25th. October 25th and November 1st. It's, it's faculty staff update. Does Chris yeah. have anything to say? Yeah. Um, Wait, um, um, Dr. Bowman. <coughs> well, also uh, yeah. Oh, she's coming with us. Okay, yes. Do okay. you have a chance to look into that opportunity that Ephraim brought about the student subcommittee? I chatted him with a little bit. I'll reach back out to him. Okay, cool. No worries. I just wanted to check he, if he's figured out more information about that. Yeah, it sounded when I talked to him like it was less of a thing than he thought it would be. But I'll circle back around just to triple check. Perfect. Okay. So, so, so yeah, uh, Kristen, uh, did you have anything to say for the faculty staff senate um, committee? Hi, everyone. Um, thanks for letting me be here. 
There, um, there wasn't a particular update that I was asked to provide or present um, at this time. Um, I think that the um, Student Affairs Committee of Faculty Senate just wants to make sure that you all are feeling supported and um, have a, a way of getting any needs or concerns voiced to Faculty Senate through us if, if that's helpful to you. So um, just know that we're here and we're going to try to have someone present um, at at your meetings or at least we're going to um, if we if someone can't be present, we'll have um, we'll watch the recordings just so that we're staying aware of like what's happening with you all. Um, but just wanted you to know who who I am and that you can reach out if there's anything you want me to bring to um, the attention of Faculty Senate. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um. Is there any more comments, questions, concerns for um, Matt, Vaughn, or Christensen? Kristen? Right. No? Uh, then we'll move on to the last uh, for updates is advisor updates. First of all, folks, congratulations on two weeks worth of great outreach and tabling. That should be something we all are very proud of and did incredible work. I do want to call out all the folks, and I wasn't there every day, but I want to call out the folks who helped set up, tear down, made the scheduling reservations, and were there doing the outreach, doing the marketing, and building the uh, pamphlets you all gave out. Really, really good. Um, so major kudos to you all. Continue thinking about how you want to do that in spring. Um, as you all, as you all, as we move towards the spring semester, it is really important that you all continue that outreach because you will have transfer students who come in and start. You will also have other brand new students who may start as well. So consider that. And then my only other thing is, as a reminder, uh, President Davidson will be joining us in this meeting on November 1st. So Siobhan and Will, Dr. Roman, sorry you all can't <laughs> make it. Um, she will only be joining us for about the first 20 to 30 minutes. So you all may want to consider maybe bring updates to the front of the agenda so that way she can really hear what things are going on. Um, but really, that's up to you all to decide. If you have a direct comment to that, that does directly coincide with public comment time, which we can't adjust. So that's fine. If there's public, if there's public, public comment, comment, then yeah, there's not much we can do about that. I think I'm happy to move updates to the beginning of the meeting outside of that if we don't have anybody here for public comment, but just so that we're all on the same page. I think that's good for her to see if there's no one or if there's, that's fine. If there is somebody, yeah. Maybe I mean, that she's going to be. Should we let students know that? Should we let students know that? Yeah, I think actually. Should I put Victor has a, a comment here. Would it be wise to let students know that President Davidson is going to be on the meeting? I was just about to. Um, I don't think so. I don't think so. Wait, wait, real quick. We'll go, um, Trevon, then Mike. Yeah, I was um, asking Haley, um, should I make emphasis on um, when I'm posting the Instagram, you know, like how I'm um, putting the, the update, the weekly yeah. to let them know that the president said you said no? Well, Stephen, you were shaking your head maybe yes, if you want to give your input. Um, really, it's your call. Um, I would say it might be a good opportunity to do that because you are the Student Advocacy Council. You have time with the president. This may also help you all as a council show that you're doing advocating. And here's the president. Here is an opportunity for them to speak in public comment. Now, in doing so, you, you will have to write some, uh, install some, some guidelines on how that will work. Oh. Um, so. I myself would encourage you to Victor's question to potentially post that the president will be there. But again, that's up to you all to decide. Mike. So I, I, I think the, I disagree with Stephen on the and yeah, only because I don't think like for 20 months, the, it's quite the forum. So if you want to if you want to like broadcast the students, I think like 
that should be its own kind of form of event. I think she should discuss what we as representatives of the students would like to talk with her. Like this is rare. Like I meet with her once a semester. It's rare. You gotta you gotta kind of pick your points. And I think what we are doing is what the students want anyway. Mm -hmm. So I think if she's here, we use that time to ourselves to kind of like kind of go back to further our other things. That's what my suggestion would be. Patrick, then um I think maybe to like a standing ground, maybe we don't promote the fact that Davidson's here, but we could promote public comment because this is a public meeting. So we could announce public comment, maybe more emphasis on this meeting, or we could be more um, open on promoting our public meeting every Friday with public comment. Matt? I actually tend to agree with Mike on this one because Again, speaking, if it's 20 minutes based on the bylaws in our constitution for public comment, that opens it up for three people to ask questions. Yes. Versus assisting us to make a bigger, broader impact mm -hmm. for students. Oh, but perfect. again, that's just opinion. Yes, I agree, but also say it's that they have a 15 minute window and they have their five minutes given and we have to pause our meeting any things until they finish and we give them their undivided, uninterrupted attention. Absolutely. And I think Matt was still agreeing to that, but it's not necessarily mm. advertising Dr. Davidson being here. Yeah, if, bringing yeah. in. Three people so, take the spots. So we if, can't do anything. Yeah. But and I also think it's important not to not disclose that. Like if somebody is curious about it, yeah, Dr. Davidson is coming. No, that's just a cool thing. Mm -hmm. Right. So, um, so, so we'll just, you and you, not, I just made a formula what I was thinking. I was just going to say it's again up to you to decide. I will always bring ideas to the table for you all to decide. I tend to lean towards what Patrick is saying that it might be a good idea to start pushing on social media that you all have this meeting. Oh, absolutely. That is okay. meeting. And should we do it? Sorry. Sorry. And that we might be able to get more just students at large to come. And it's a good way as you all roll out a delegate program, whatever that looks like, to get folks more connected. In terms of Davidson, I I think you all made really valid points about the fact that she's only here with you all. Also remember again, a lot of what you're doing in these meetings, you're all sharing updates, you all are um uh sorry we all are anyway thought is gone but you could work with her office and see if you wanted to host something with her mm -hmm. once a, once a semester mm -hmm. once a year and just know that if if you do decide to do something here in a meeting you could make it a special we can alter how you do it because again, you all have control in this. This is meant to be a less um, hierarchical structure, but more something you all have the ability to control. Um, Susanna, you had a direct comment to that? Um, I was going to say that Siobhan is posting those meetings on the Instagram story. I like we have them every week. Unless if someone has a different idea of how we should promote our meetings. Okay, and so that? Yeah, that was just my question. Okay. Something to say. I kind of just went to different comments. Uh, Victor? Um, to, I mean, we've only had one student come in for public comment, maybe two in the entire time that we've been here. So I think this is a great way for students to be able to actually be interested in coming like, oh, and then yet, and like how he said it, like maybe we help host like something with the with the president. I feel like that's already too formal and students aren't going to really be attracted to that. This is like more of a space for them to be more closer together with the president, have more face time with the president to actually be able to speak some of the issues that they may not be comfortable enough to come to the public to a public meeting here. So that's why I was saying maybe it'd be a good idea to 
to advertise it, but then it, well, how you guys were saying, maybe not necessarily advertise that like with the president, but more advertisement with the public comment, I think would be a great way to go about that. Did you have a direct comment to that, Patrick? Yeah, no, I'll speak for PR committee and um, just as a counselor. I think I think it's, I think Victor brings up a very good point of maybe we should bring up more attention. Maybe let them know that there are opportunities like this where every once in a while not, you won't just be able to um, voice out your opinions or your concerns to us, but there will be other opportunities throughout the year or throughout the semester where the press may be there involved. So not necessarily a direct, because as Mike said, this is also our opportunity. Also giving them, letting them know how important it is or how I put it, how how much opportunity it is to be able to voice your opinion here throughout our meetings. I had a direct comment to that, and um, well, I understand like we really can use this opportunity to get students more connected to President Davidson and an environment that's more comfortable for them. I do also want to point out when it comes to David, Dr. Davidson coming to this meeting for us, it's us to confer with her about TSAC stuff. And as much as we do want to spread it, uh, her time is very sought after, not only just us, but many parties around this campus. And so I feel like if we are going to have a specific time where we have the students and us uh, talk to Dr. Davidson, then we should do it on a separate event rather than our meeting. So our meeting is our one-on-one -on -one time with her, and it's one of the few times we get to talk to her directly. And um, Haley, then, well. Um, I do think Patrick's idea is a great compromise between the two ideas, um, because it's not directly saying, hey, Dr. Davidson is going to be here for public comment time at our next meeting. It's just, hey, please come to our public comment time. There's a chance you'll be able to, you'll definitely be able to advocate to us and express your issues and concerns, but there's also a chance that some other upper administration people will be there or somebody from faculty staff senate might be there where you can voice those concerns more broadly so advertising it a little bit more broadly like that and maybe not directly hey come to our next public comment um also to the note that it's dr davidson's sign with us she's choosing to come at a time when we have public comment and that's she not really that. within our span of control so if we have people here for public comment and it falls into our time with dr davidson yeah. and like her schedule. schedule yeah and like matt said you know we they there's also um given space for that and mm -hmm. they have their limited time so it wouldn't be full time but we're just given just promoting the fact that public comment can't be part of just not just us but uh well I just want to pose a question then to the council because I see a little bit of division on how to approach this situation. Um, as I mean, we still have time to like come up with a compromise, but it it kind of seems like there might need to be a or even almost a vote on this in the future, and that will, of course be the deciding factor as to how we move forward. So I just want to put that out there. So if you disagree, then that's OK. And if there's no like a compromise made by then, then we all have the power to motion a vote. Right. I would agree with that as a direct response. I also think so we've got one meeting in between. Now and when Dr. Davidson will be here on the first. So I think let's go ahead and give it a week. Think about it. Maybe let's like explore the wording of maybe some sort of compromise between the two without directly saying that she'll be here. Um, and we can probably put it up to a vote by the next meeting. It's fine. Steven, yeah, just a direct comment if that's okay, Matt. I just want to share. So for the spring semester, she is scheduled to come on February 7th. So you all know. Armando and I, as the advisors, we have to send what's called a briefing document up through leadership to ensure <clears throat> and knows what the heck is going she's on coming into. and what she's coming to. Right. So uh, our deadline for this briefing document is January 29th for next semesters. I think you all are fine in deciding. Please note, though, um, I have a, a deadline of this coming Wednesday for the November 1st meeting. So really, 
nothing can be decided on now. Uh, I would say that you all, if there are specific topics, I think I can put in the brief and I can share it with Levi and Haley so that way they can see what I'm putting in for you all. But usually I attach an agenda, a agenda template so she can see. I'll also put in a note that um, there is public comment, what to expect for that. I'll also put in a note that these are public meeting risk. And I'll also put in a comment that there may be a push to have some of the reports moved to the front as long as TSAC honors the public comment section. So really for this coming one, not much we can do there. But if you all decide and want to shift up the February 7th one, or you want an added structure, we have until January 29th to do. Okay. okay. So. Awesome. And then, Matt, did you have yeah. a comment? So one thing that might help with the divide too is, what is her motivation for coming? Is this the first time she came? Yes. She I think done this like every year. actual meeting. This first time. Oh. First time in three years. But what is her motivation for coming? Is it so her motivation you just? You are. Extroverted. Because uh, again, like present with us or like for public comment kind of things, like if she's here to me with us as well, specifically from her side. Do you have a direct okay. comment? Yeah. So thank you. I think the purpose of that, of her coming, is to see what Dr. you all are doing, share some input comment on things, also bring things to your attention as well. So that's why I'm saying you may want to alter your agenda to some extent to say, you know, we have a special guest yielding time directly to President Davidson so she can speak about things. And then based on what she says, you may have, she may want to hear about your reports, which in that case, you can go into that, or she may be coming with conversation. So that is some of the history. I'll yield to Dr. Barone. If yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we can move over to Dr. Barone. Hi. Um, I just wanted to respond and reiterate what Stephen just said. Um, I think the last time she was at a at a student government meeting was probably in 2020, 2022, maybe. Um, but what I, I think is really important is that you all not only recognize that, yes, she's coming to this meeting and she's there to engage with you all. Students are a part of that, too. But you want to be really careful about how you're thinking about that time for public comment and being really um, specific about how much time you're giving for that. If she's only there for 20 to 30 minutes, because then it'll be her taking in a lot and not being able to engage with you in 20 or 30 minutes if you're giving half or more of that time to students to do their public comments. So I just wanna remind you of mm -hmm. that. The other thing I think you need to also think, so being strategic, right, on how are you utilizing that time that you have, especially if she hasn't been able to attend one of your meetings in a really long time. The other thing I want you to also think about is timing. This meeting is happening on November 1st. I'm not going to be here because I'm going to be at a conference. And so I just want to remind you all that is the week before the election. I imagine that there are probably going to be a lot of things on a lot of people's minds. And we don't even know what what will. I don't know. We There's a lot. But I think timing, right, strategy, content. What are things that you think are really pertinent topics that you would like to potentially at least scratch the surface on with her there personally in relation to the things that are going on at that time. Think about that and think about what those talking points are and share those with Stephen for this briefing document because I think that's going to be really important. Um, so that that's what I have to share. Uh, um, and to the topics the 28th is the town hall for RTD, so I think it would be a great thing to bring up to her would be the RTD and she would see what she thinks about it, what yeah. MSU has done to get a hold of that, to progress yeah. on that a little bit. All the input from the town um, Another thought that I'm having as Dr. Brown is speaking is possibly would it be permissible for us to just move public comment time back a little bit so that we can, we can make sure that like at the start of our meeting when Dr. Davidson is there, we have 
15 minutes of set aside time that we can dedicate towards her and then like maybe have it overlap a little bit of public comment time. That way we're making sure that the time is dedicated towards the council as opposed to dedicated towards public comment. We can, yeah, yeah, we can move it, but we can't shorten it. So I just want to right. make that clear. I want to ensure if you meant like how we do that, I can adjust the time for one meeting. Okay. Yes. Yeah. You just yeah, have to make a motion. Compromise. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I must have. That didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Is there uh, any more questions? Okay, any other updates from the advisors outside of that? Um, I was going to say for my folks, I emailed y'all requesting a meeting, so please do schedule something for the next couple of weeks. Um, yeah, good work on the event. That was really it. Yeah, um, I guess I don't have it. I think I said what I needed to say. Um, Stephen said everything else I was going to say, but um, the one thing that I'm glad you all are paying attention to um, and thinking a lot about is that AHEC or Auraria feedback. Those sessions, I think, are going to be really, really important, not only for you all to have presence there, to, but to get students there, right? Because I know there has been a lot of concern and a lot of um, challenges that folks have really voiced in this space and outside of the space around AHEC. And I think that's what those sessions are for. So I would really highly encourage you to attend and to get students to go with you um, to share the things that they need to share in that space because it's a public forum and it's really important. Um, and then the only other thing is just so you all know, I am going to work with our uh, media folks to get them to um, Tim Carroll from Marketing Communications. Um, he's our director of strategy, as well as Chris DeRosier, the associate director for Met Media, to come to one of your meetings when there is time on the agenda to talk about your relationship with the media. I imagine you're going to get a lot of requests potentially around the election. Um, and so I want to make sure that you all have an understanding of of your role as you know student leaders and and serve pub public servants um how you engage with the media to give you some um yeah just a framework and uh some pointers on that because i think you all might get tapped more than you realize in the coming few mo few months um and then the other one is having uh, a conversation about uh freedom of speech and academic freedom so I'll probably be having David Fine come and talk about that in the near term too. So that's it. Um, but wanted to let y'all know I'll be doing that. So if you see those things pop up on the agenda, that's why. That's it. Thank you, Dr. Brown. Uh, mm -hmm. Any comments today? No? Then uh, as a last item, uh, I make a motion to end the meeting. Um, all opposed? Any? Yes. <laughs> I say that. <laughs> abstentions. Any abstentions? All in favor? Aye. 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 All right. Fast. If you do all the polls, you don't have to. Huh? If you do all the polls, you all in favor. Two. If you have to get through two, the third one's already full. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs>